Welcome! HPE OneView 4.1 provides a number of new features and enhancements. In this session we will show the improved firmware update process for HPE Gen 10 servers. You can expect performance improvements of up to 50% and enhanced security if you have FIPS enabled with the new process. HPE Gen 10 servers stage the firmware components into ILO via Redfish APIs. The updates are accelerated by using ILO, UEFI, and Embedded Flash Memory Repository. This, along with eliminating the need to boot into SPP, delivers rapid firmware updates. Firmware update time will be reduced by up to 50% when SUT is not required for OS level updates. In addition, when using server profile to apply the firmware update, there is a new feature for Gen 10 servers where the firmware update is skipped when all components are up to date. Now let's take a look at HPE OneView and see how the process works. From our HPE OneView dashboard, I can go in and take a look at my server profile templates, and you'll see I already have a server profile template created for doing this update. Let's edit that template so we can see how the template is configured. We have a name for our server profile template and some additional details of significance. Our affinity describes where this profile template is to be deployed, in this case the device bay and server hardware. We've got our server profile template version, the SPP ISO image described here for the baseline and we note that it's firmware only. Now let's take a look how we actually deploy this template by going to our server profiles. So in one view I'll go to my server profiles and we'll now create a server profile. I'll provide a server profile name in this case server 1 since I'm applying it to my first server I select my server profile template and the server that I wish to apply it to. You'll notice that the affinity is captured from my server profile template and I have the firmware baseline and firmware only captured from the server profile template. Also notice the affected components, there are four of them where this will be applied, the smart array controller, the 3820 mezzanine card, and the system ROM. When I select create, we will initiate the SPP being deployed to server 1 and we go through the creation process. As we go through the creation process, we'll continue to get updates on what is being applied where and the time that it's taking to apply the creation. I can expand out my creation details and get details as this goes on. Skipping ahead toward the end of the creation process, let's take a look at what's been going on. We can see in our creation details that we are getting notifications every time the server is powered on or powered off, and we're getting indications as to when the firmware is being staged, installed, and when the firmware activation is complete. After the firmware activation is complete, we have some verification that needs to go on, and that's happening currently, and we'll watch that as things wrap up. Now we see in the gray bar at the top that the creation has completed 25 minutes and 13 seconds total time to update the firmware on this server. This time for the firmware update is significantly less than the 40 to 45 minutes it would have taken with the old firmware update process. For more information, please see any of the links that you note here. The primary link is hpe.com slash info slash hpe one view. Thank you, and we hope that you enjoyed this informational video.